gets in there all the time is Jay Sean. That's really a pretty good formula. It's too bad. It's too bad we don't have enough guys that can figure that formula out. How hard are they to defend, though? I mean, they just make so many shots. They spread you so much. Nader doesn't shoot it like that against anybody I've done. I mean, uh, stuff. It's kind of like everybody. Texas didn't make any shots against Baylor. Didn't score a bunch today against Kansas State. And everybody makes shots against us for some reason. For a team that handles the ball so out of the fourth position, what's the, what's the key? Turning them over. We didn't do a very good job keeping them in front of us enough. When we had them in front of us, we, we did a pretty good job. I, I, I thought our traps were better. We, we closed traps better. We still not. We're not getting as much from uh, running balls down from behind as what we were. <coughs> we need to do a better job of that. Which kind of off that a little bit, talking about your traps. Uh, considering what he's done throughout the season with Morris, with four turnovers, is that kind of a significant uh, stat to you know what your defense did accomplish tonight? I thought we had more bounce. I told him yesterday I thought it was the best practice we'd had in a long time. We were we were bouncing around again. And, uh, I thought we would we would come out. Our pressure would be better. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's to a large degree, it's an energy thing. And um, that's why I didn't, we didn't do a whole lot yesterday in terms of taxing them. I, it's a fine line because I think you know, we need to run a little bit because we, you know, to keep our wind. I maybe haven't ran them enough. I, I just don't know where that, you know, great, great place is. Bob, if you don't go that hard yesterday, Kind of challenge the guys after the game about whether or not they're going to be tipped off. Um, how do you how do they respond when they just kind of an ownership that maybe you expected? Just to, I mean, to really flip the scale and be back to. Well, when when uh, when I'm up in the office and I hear balls bounce and I look down and the majority of them are in there early getting shots and. They've got they've got the managers rebounding for them. They're not fooling around. They're taking game shots. It's a pretty good indication that they understand what's supposed to happen. Coach, in some of the losses this year, Jay Sean has been in foul trouble. I think he well, picked up his first foul late in the game. I mean, it's night and day compared to you know his production, being able to pour in this many points, not being in foul trouble. Yeah. But he had dumb, he made some dumb fouls. You're going to get fouls. I mean, when you play hard, you're going to get fouls. You just, you, you got to eliminate the dumb fouls. Now, my dad said to me, uh, when I first started playing for him, he said, how many fouls you get? And I said, five. He goes, no, you don't. You get four. Fifth one, they set you down. And I'm trying to explain that to, to Jay Shaw. He thinks he gets five. You don't get five. You get four. Coach, some of that energy you're talking about, how much of that has to do with the fact that you're getting a healthy roster back, uh, you know, maybe not all the way back yet, but certainly it, it's coming? It's got a lot to do with it. I mean, we had guys, I thought, I thought, you know, I, and, uh, you know a lot of it is uh, you get kind of, you get winded sooner when you're all keyed up to play. And, and I thought our guys were emotionally, they weren't ready to go. So, you know, I, we sub before the 16 minute yeah. timeout. That's all the difference in the world. You know, we were kind of trying to piece it together as best we possibly could, but you have to have numbers to play the way that we've been playing the last couple of years. I mean, it's a really good thing because everybody gets to play. I think your camaraderie and spree to and all that's all a lot better. But at the same time, when you lose guys, it's, it makes it tougher. That said, what was it? What were your thoughts on how Dax looked tonight, bringing him along, and how do you think he's looking so far? He's fine. You know, he was winded, but he's fine. Jay, 
Deshaun and Tariq were able to get to the basket tonight. How much is, of that is because of Iowa State's defense? Can they do that against some of the better interior defensive teams? Well, I think they have. They got to, to the basket against Oklahoma. It's just they were they were they were very physical when they got to the rim, and and they didn't. They, well, they, none of us did, none of our guys did. They didn't handle the physicality very well. But it's, you know, it's not always allowed to be that way either. You know, it's a, it, it's kind of, you know, it's like we talked about before. I mean, different, everybody has a different way their thought of how the game ought to be played and how that, what their part of it's going to be. It wasn't they didn't get to the rim, they just didn't finish at the rim. Coach, how tempting is it to keep Tavon in the starting lineup in the sense that you can now bring Holton, Page, Phillip, Macon, uh, Dax off the bench and it could be almost like a uh, uh, overwhelming kind of effect? Well, if we keep getting 69 off the bench with those guys, it's probably a good idea. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure that'll happen. But be nice if it did. I don't. I mean, you can't you can't miss whatever Dax missed three or four games and kind of waltz back in the starting lineup right. like your Willis Reed. You know, it's just, I mean, I've never I've never done that with. And I had great players. Right. I mean, I'm not talking about good players, great players that you know they knew they had to practice. Your ability to rebound, obviously, Iowa State's not great rebound. Dominating that category. How key was that? Well, we got dominated on Saturday, so I think we had some motivation to rebound it better. And, and, and we, I mean, if there was one thing that we probably emphasized, well, there was a few things. That, but yesterday was was people blocking out because we just didn't block out uh, the Oklahoma game. Blockouts, and then we wanted to make it hard for their two guys that initiated offense to catch the ball.